Mitch Rizzito reporting for SouthingtonSports.com with Ag Science instructor here at Southington High School, Patrick O'Keefe. We're here at the baseball diamond, which uh, you and some of your students are working on now. Yep. Uh, so basically explain what it is you do. Well, Mitch, uh, in the fall time, we usually try to do a little bit of uh, lip work. Um, what happens is when you're grooming the field in the spring, uh, you tend to develop a little bit of a lip. Uh, where the infield and the outfield meet, or where the diamond uh, meets the actual uh, infield uh, play. So we come through with uh, various types of machinery and we uh, try to reclaim some of that dirt. Uh, usually we have to use sod uh, and put that on top of the areas that we've reclaimed. Um, this year we probably pulled out about 10 yards of material. It's a really large job. We did both varsity and junior varsity fields. Uh, so we kind of had a big year. Um, we're hoping, uh, especially on JV, now that we've got a, a good a, a good infield, uh, we can maybe get a good uh, second second base, uh, shortstop, so, third base, because it was so bad. I'm just curious. I'm just up. curious, Mr. O'Keefe. If, if this if the work like this isn't done, does it become like an injury an injury That's factor? That's just it. It's, okay. This boils down to safety. Yes, it's great for my students to have the experience working with that, but it really is a safety factor. Because people be tripping the, and stuff like that, right? And the ball balls take a bad bounce. A very unpredictable. Mm -hmm not the player's fault bounce and uh you know if you, you want to teach guys to get in front of that ball but you start taking some bad bounces shots to the face yeah. and, and yeah, it can, can have a, an dangerous. effect on on just your the way you play just being an infielder in general is dangerous yes. you know just off the bat you but know you don't need uh, bad field conditions <laughs> you don't need bad field conditions so that's what you guys do you work on the the varsity baseball field as well as the jv baseball field which yep. is back there now is there any other fields that uh that you can maybe explain we, we some try of the work to you focus do on? the vast majority of our resources which unfortunately are limited on the uh varsity fields here at okay. Southern high school we've done a, a large amount of work on the varsity field hockey uh at varsity lacrosse field over the years soccer um, down here right well that's fall, over. we put a lot of uh, interest in uh, we try to because we have limited resources we try to say okay what can we get the most bang for our buck out of um, baseball responds very, very well to low inputs because <laughs> you don't beat up the field. Yeah. You know, so you can fertilize it, you can lime it, you can do all that stuff, put the limited amount we have in and get huge results. Um, same thing, uh, girls hockey, uh, field hockey, uh, they don't beat it up as bad. It's not where you look after a game and you got like a, a layer of mud yeah. so much. Soccer, <laughs> unfortunately, soccer does beat it up a little bit, as does the cross. So, uh, that's the thing we have a harder time with. We have uh, we have made some uh, some progress, and you guys have got quite a complex out here of fields to. Uh, to it work is. On. <laughs> uh, we're we're very lucky. Uh, we've got nine fields and about six of them. We we do a lot of work on. Um, we have gotten some new machinery from the state this year on a, on a state grant. Uh, I wouldn't hesitate to say we're probably the most well equipped uh, high school state, program maybe, right? in the country. In the country. So we are. Ooh. We are definitely uh, happy to be where we are. And everyone thinks going to school is just, you know, sitting in a classroom. During the day, if you drive by, if you're at the high school, you will see oh. SHS's own driving the equipment around, doing work on the field. And, and then when you go out to all these sporting events and you see how beautiful these fields look, this is the guy yep. behind all of that. You can thank Mr. Patrick O'Keefe for, uh, for all the hard work. Thanks. Thank you, Mitch.